Welcome to Scooby Raw Fitness. Right here today, what we have is a wonderful dish here. This is going to be a wonderful taco dish. I've been hearing a lot of people all over asking me, man, you got to put your vegan tacos online. I want to know how you do it. So today, I made the ultimate vegan taco that's going to be stuck with all the goodness. All right, so right here, what we have is a lot of wonderful nutrients for your body, which is going to help you live a sustainable life. And it's going to give you all the nutrients you need. You know how people say, hey man, you're not getting enough vitamin A, you're not getting enough vitamin D, you're not getting enough B12. You know, people always wonder, where do you get these nutrients from? Well, on this channel, my goal is to show you how to get all of those nutrients in your body in a yummy way. All right, so in here in this pot, what we got is some beefless meat, from which I got from Trader Joe's. We also have some soy chorizo. So just imagine ground beef. This is what it's like. But it's an easier, more digestible ground beef. Because ground beef can essentially clog arteries and cause many cancers over time. So the good thing about soy chorizo and beefless meat is the chances of you contracting some type of cancer or illness is very low. The percentage is a lot lower. So if you know you can do better, why not give it a try? So we also got some zucchini in here. Got some yellow squash. We got some um, yellow root set potatoes. We also have some red onions diced up in there. We got some mushrooms. Uh, we got some eggplant. I don't know if I said that already. Should I say that already, camera lady? No. All right, so that's what's going on down in here. And this is just the beginning stage, which is the sauteing and mixing stage. So there's going to be five parts to this. So let's flatten it all out. All right, let's go to the next step. All right, man. So now we're on to the next step. And the next step here, what we have is, now we got to get our sauces ready. I'm going to show you some of my signature sauces I like to use to make my dish just right. Right. So today we have some sweet chili sauce, just to bring out the flavor. Organic blue agave, got to really take out that salt flavor. Then we got the sesame, soy, ginger, vinaigrette. This right here, this is going to be for the vegetables we have. All right, let's see what else we want to do. So if you're into hot spices, you can also do habanero hot sauce, or you can do something like a um, picante sauce if it's hot. But because I have acid reflux, I don't dive into this only on special occasions. So, I mean, this is a special occasion for you guys, but at the same time, I ain't trying to go too hard. So here, got some vegan cream cheese. This is what's gonna set everything off. And this is what we're gonna put inside. The, this is what, the, we gonna put inside the tacos. Oh, just so you know, I'm gonna edit this. You see how I'm fucking up? I can take this out. <laughs> okay. but, all right, so this is whole wheat pita bread. Made with 100% unbleached whole wheat. Boom. Vegan cream cheese, it's gonna be on the bottom layer. If you come look over here, we have our lettuce here. So that's gonna be banging. The type of oil that I'm using is organic virgin coconut oil, which is very good, easy to digest, and it also has nutritional value. Okay. All right, let's go to the next step. All right, guys, so we got everything mixed in here. We got our sweet chili sauce here. We got a little bit of our agave blue agave in there. We're gonna mix that all around real good. We're just gonna let this sit on low so the juices can marinate, all the sauce can get in there. We still got a lot of potatoes, zucchini, and yellow squash that needs to cook too for more so let's get this sit in there real good I'm so used to not having a camera girl I'm thinking I got only one hand to use I got two hands so I can really get with it y'all let me show y'all how I whip <laughs> whipping it whipping it uh, whipping it uh, look at that whip skills turn it up just a little bit there we go let that get high real quick so I'm turning it back up so I can get it nice and hot. Then I'm going to turn it back down and let it simmer. So 
So yeah, guys, this is an easy, great recipe. You don't have to put all the sauces like I do. This is just how I do it. I'm just giving you the platform of how you can make vegan tacos. All right, now we on to the next thing. All right, and it's go time. That's nice and ready right there. Now we're gonna turn that off and it is ready to go. So as you look over here, this is a vegetable that came out of the oven. Look at that. Mixed together nice and right. Cauliflower. Ooh, Swiss chard. And some kale. It's gonna be good. Alright, so let's go ahead and get a scoop of that on a plate. Ah, there we go. Nice. Come on, follow me. Follow me, follow me. Follow me to Glory Land. So we're gonna move this over. <laughs> Boom. Move this over like that. Boom. Oh, drop it right up in there. Right up in there like that. So you're gonna eat this like chips. Since they're already broke, you're not gonna try to eat like a taco. So you're gonna get down with the get down once you get all your sauce in the middle. So let me move this one over. And then we're gonna have to put some vegetables on that plate. And um, like I said, this is a great meal for you if you are looking to lose weight, unwanted weight that your body can get rid of. All these foods have nutrients that help accelerate the process in losing weight. That's the good part about being on a plant-based diet. All right, here we go. So please comment, like, subscribe, share with all your friends. Tell me what you want to see. My camera lady had something to say. <laughs> Smells good in here, guys. You don't know what you're missing out on. Now I know what the cooking shows are talking about all the time. When they smell it and you don't. Nice. Final product, y'all. Look how amazing that looks. Who said be bigger than that? Oh my God. Talk about slamming. Man. This is probably one of the best meals my camera lady can eat all year. Starting off now. <laughs>